Hey guys, Mike here from M&J Music Creations. This video will teach you how, and more importantly why, to use sends while mixing. I'll be using Sonar X2, but the concepts remain the same in any DAW. Here we have two acoustic guitar tracks panned left and right. We want to add reverb to both. We can insert a reverb in each track, like this. We'll insert any reverb and pick any preset. It really doesn't matter for this example. And now we can hold control, drag down. This makes a copy to the effects bin in our second guitar track. The problem is, once we have lots of instruments and tracks, inserting a reverb on each track will use a lot of computer resources. This will start to slow us down, possibly causing pops, clicks, and dropouts. Using sends allows us to use one reverb and route it to as many tracks as we would like. A send also allows us to adjust each track individually in relation to how much reverb each track will receive. Let's just delete our previous reverb inserts. We won't need them. Here's an example. I will add a bus and name it Guitar Verb. I will then insert a send on each track and point it to the guitar reverb bus. That's the bus we just created. When we right click to insert the send, we see our bus in the drop down menu. We'll click on that. With that done, we'll go back to our bus and we will insert our favorite reverb in the effects bin. Once the reverb's inserted, we'll find a preset and we'll make it 100% wet, 0% dry. I now have the same reverb to each guitar. I can also adjust how much reverb each guitar is getting. I can add 50 tracks if I want and insert this reverb sent to each track. I'll still only have one reverb as opposed to 50 individual reverbs. You can use this technique with other effects as well. You want your wet signal at 100% and your dry signal at zero. This will give you maximum flexibility in each track to determine how wet or dry it is. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned something.